My name is Jeremy Ensrud. I'm the science department leader. And on behalf of the science department, I would like to welcome you to Back to School Night. This year, we have two new staff joining our department, Corey Olson and Hannah Steinmetz. I'm going to start off by walking you through the science pathways that students can take during their careers at Canby High School. We have three general pathways, the supported, the general, and the honors. Supported pathway may look like environmental science during the freshman year. Sophomore year, students would take biology. That's two classes for one credit. Junior year, they would take conceptual chemistry and conceptual physics. In their senior year, they could take a science elective, including any of the electives listed on the right here. For the general student, their freshman year, they're going to take environmental science and biology. Their sophomore year, they'd take chemistry. In their junior year, they'd take physics. Again, electives are always optional after that. And for the honors pathway, freshman year, students are going to take environmental science and chemistry. Their sophomore year, they'll be able to take AP Biology. Their junior year, they'll be able to take AP Chemistry. And their senior year, they'll be able to take AP Physics. Now, students can always move up and down this list depending on uh, how they want to challenge themselves. But these are the recommended science pathways. Students are required to have four or three credits uh, for graduation, though most colleges require four four credits. Um, I want to talk about college credit and our aligned classes. So in science, AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Physics all offer college credit. In AP Biology, uh, the class is articulated with Oregon Tech. This is a 100 level biology credit. Students can also earn 200 level biology credit through the AP exam. So through this course, students can actually earn up to 20 credits, um, 8 through Oregon Tech and 12 through the AP exam. In AP Chemistry, the class is articulated with Oregon Tech. This is a 200 level chemistry credit. There's also 200 level credit offered through the AP exam. Because they're both 200 level, students would want to choose one or the other. And in AP Physics, there's 200 level credit offered through the AP exam. Lastly, I want to talk to you about the science macro standards. These are the standards that we uh, hope all of our students will achieve after taking the science courses at Canby High School. First, we want to develop good consumers and producers of scientific information. We want students to look at scientific information and be able to judge when it's good information and when it's bad information. Second, understand the purpose of science and the scientific method. Third, apply scientific principles to their everyday lives. Fourth, learn to make and support scientific claims with evidence and reasoning. And finally, we want students to appreciate the world through a scientific lens. I hope you're able to join us in our drop-in Zoom later and look forward to meeting you at parent-teacher conferences.